All right, let's look at section 5. Point, where we want to identify if a value is a discrete random variable or a continuous random variable or neither, and then determine the mean and standard deviation of probabilities. So if we want to determine if a value is discrete random variable, continuous random variable, or not a random variable, we need to know what a random variable actually is. A random variable is a variable that has a single numerical value determined by chance for each outcome of a procedure. So the distance a baseball travels in the air after being hit, well certainly distance is numeric. There's only going to be one actual value that it travels and it can be measured like distance will always be continuous. So anything measured would be continuous. The time it takes to fly from city A to city B, there would only be one time. This would be numeric. Time is something. That, so this is also a continuous random variable. The gender of college students. To our definition, it must be a single numerical value. Gender is not a number, so this would be not a random variable. The number of hits to a website in one day. Well, the number of one, two, three, four, so this would be discrete, okay, meaning you can't have one and a half hits, 2.37 hits. These, this would be a discrete random variable. All right, a probability distribution, all probabilities must add to one. The probabilities must be positive, and they must between, be between zero and one, but they can actual, actually equal zero and one, where zero means impossible, and one is if I want to find the mean of a probability distribution, what I take each x value and multiply it by its probability and then add them all up. That's what this little e means to sum each x value times its probability and then add them all up. If I want to find the standard deviation of a probability, well, the standard deviation, if I go through and I square this column, so each x term I square, times the probability, I get this 3.295. If I want to know what the variance is, notice that I subtract each this value that I just found from the, the mean that I found on the slide before and then the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. All right, so this takes quite a few steps to go, to go through because what I'm doing is I'm taking each one of these again and I'm squaring it times the probability, summing them, adding them all up. Then I take this sum and subtract the square of the mean, which gives me the variance. If I take the square root of the variance, this gives me the standard deviation. Now you can certainly do this with a calculator. It does take a little time because you have to enter all the information into the calculator. So you do the stat edit, one edit to go to a list, and then in the first column add all of the x values. In the second column add all the probability values. Then do second quit to leave this area. Second stat over to math and arrow down to sum because if you remember with um, the formula, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to add all these to see if it's even a probability distribution. Well, when I add all of these up, I sum them and I tell it to put in my probability column, which is L2. I close the parentheses, and for it to be a probability distribution, that sum better equal 1, otherwise it's not a probability. If I want to find the mean, I already have in column 1 the x values, in column 2 the probability values. If you remember by our formula, we want to multiply these, so I can add a column 3, which says to multiply what's in L1 times what's in L2, and then I'm going to add them all up. I mean, I'll post these slides so um, you can go through these a little bit slower. <clears throat> Finding the standard deviation, unfortunately, isn't that straightforward because you actually have them as well. And this column that you're adding was where you saw me take um, 
each x value, subtract it from the mean, square it times the probability. Okay, so, and again, I will post these slides so you can go through these steps and try the, try the probability distribution that I did so you know if you're doing the formulas correctly.